This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hi, everyone. I'm Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment, and welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. Today, we're talking with Peter Mitchell, Senior Vice President, General Manager, Verizon Connect. Peter, it is great to see you again. And likewise, Jason. Always a pleasure. So we're going to dive right into this uh, because Verizon just announced the Verizon Connect AI dash cam and you hit my sweet spot with artificial intelligence. You're doing some really cool things with this. Um, one of the things that stood out for me for the release, and I'll reference uh, the full release here in our, in our post show notes, uh, but you're detecting things like driver tiredness or distractions or cell phone usage. How are you doing this? Can you tell me about that system and, and how is the AI dash cam recognizing those those behaviors? Sure. Um, first, let me show you the AI, the Verizon. Oh, Connect. wow. Okay. Look at that. Awesome. Sleek, it's a bit smaller. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. It in a modular design as well. So you can have just front facing uh, or you can have front and driver facing or you can get the right. front facing and later on decide you want to add the driver facing. Okay. Now, What's really, really uh, exciting about it, on top of the beautiful new design, is what's inside. Um, so first of all, it's got double the memory, and it's also got a 64-bit octa-core processor. Why does that matter? Well, it starts to answer your question because it allows us to, uh, in real time, in real time, so in here, the processing happens rather than in, in the cloud, detect okay. things like, driver tiredness, distraction, cell phone usage. So the chip, first of all, allows us to go there. And we're using, by the way, GPUs instead of CPUs, which is just far more powerful. Um, the software that runs on it, though, is where the magic really, really happens. Because remember, what you're trying to replicate is how the human brain interprets things it's seeing and turning those into you know, pieces of information uh, that advise you as to what's going on and what's happening. It's a very, very difficult problem to solve, but we've managed to do that uh, by, first of all, having the hardware that can take uh, complex uh, computations like that and the algorithms, the AI, the deep learning that runs in there. Now, I, and I get very excited about this, Jason. So stop me when when you need. Well, to. okay. Well, no, I want one one clarification, just so I know too. I'm going to take a guess, but I'm I'm I, I kind of am, am in this world. So you mentioned a GPU and not a CPU. So a GPU that's graphic uh, graphic process unit. So you're processing the video image with the GPU and all of that because we talk about the cloud, mm -hmm. the edge, the device, but this is happening in the camera device that's in the truck and all that that artificial intelligence brain power is happening right there and then it gets sent up it's not getting sent up but then the magic's happening there it's happening on the device and then going uh, to the cloud and alerts right. and all the normal stuff right and if you're using a cpu um what you need to do then is have something that shortens the problem right because you've got you're driving around eight hours a day let's say you've got eight hours of footage you're not going to upload eight hours of footage and, and scroll through it all. So, right. so you generally tie it to something else that's happening, like the driver slamming on the brakes or over accelerating, for example, or hard cornering. Right. Uh, with GPU and the fact that you're actually processing in real time what's happening and you're, you're observing everything, uh, you can do things like, you know, potentially you can do rolling stops that no one has slammed on a brake, uh, tailgating where, you know, you're, you're just, habitually driving uh, too close to the to the vehicle in front. But all of that is unlocked by the fact that you've got a GPU that allows you the massive, massive processing to on the fly, see what's going on, interpret it, and then, you know, alert either in cab or alert uh, back in the office. Okay, and well, and the things that you mentioned there, tailgating, rolling stops, that seems that that would be that outward facing camera, which honestly, I think the industry has really gravitated a lot toward. There's been a lot of development and ad adaptation there uh, or adoption there. Um, the driver facing one is interesting though too. We all, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit, but one of the other things that stuck out to me in terms of the product release was, so you have these, you're able to detect these behaviors and, and let's talk about uh, driver facing just because it's kind of the sticky, the sticky right. wicket of the conversation. But what's interesting is it's you're you're tagging it with context. 
right uh, that really said can you tell me about that because i think that's super important about you get a bunch of alerts but what do they mean how do you act on them what kind of context are you tagging that with and, and how do you see this helping fleets or safety managers with that driver facing camera issue to be more uh more positive experience and get away from, from some of the negative connotations sure so First of all, let's talk about the tagging. I mean, if you're if you and I were trying to describe what had happened on your you know trip to work, if you were going to an office these days, um, <laughs> you might you might say, hey, there was you know uh, someone driving crazy, that they were driving too fast, or slamming the brakes. But you're actually using language. Um, you're less likely to kind of say, hey, let me show you all the footage from my dash cam, and think that that's going to be an efficient way of describing what's going on. If you are running a fleet of vehicles, you want to get to the information quickly so you can address issues, you can address them before they become real problems. And so tagging allows us to do that. So it allows us to analyze the video again using those GPUs um, and say, okay, well, in this particular, the reason we're bringing this to your attention is it was a high risk uh, or there is a speeding element to it. Um, and so, and then on the driver facing side, allow you to tell you things like if the driver was distracted, the driver was drowsy, the uh, driver was consuming food, smoking, something like that on the phone. So you, you boil right down to the kind of semantics that people use to talk to each other. And the, the more you can take, you know, under the hood, you have this incredible science and algorithms and, and deep learning going on, uh, but above it, you just need to get down to a quick pointer. Hey, there's a high risk with, Jason, so if you don't do something about that, the likelihood of, of having an accident will not decrease. Right, right. And on the on the flip side of that, if you know the the benefit of the doubt there is that you have the outward facing camera, you've got the inward facing camera. You can see what develops in front of the vehicle, and you yeah. can see that hey, there wasn't an alert here for the driver. The driver was paying attention, hands on the wheel, acted accordingly. Yeah. And we hear we hear a number of uh, anecdotes as how it kind of exonerates the driver in those situations. As you're talking with customers, how do you, is the driver facing camera conversation still a hard sell? Is it, is it, are the fleets looking at it more now? Is this, and does this artificial intelligence kind of create like a third a party almost, right? Like a, someone, a technology watching and being able to do it. And now with the added context, does that help instead of feeling like I'm being watched all the time and, and it's never off. How, how are these conversations shaping out in the market? Yeah, sure, and it's a good question. Well, first of all, I'm, with Verizon Connect, the uh, camera sales would tell you um, all of those challenges are being handled very, very well. And, and they're, they're actually really more theoretical challenges. Mm -hmm. So sales uh, year on year are up about a third on video, which is, oh, wow. which is a good point, right? Awesome. Um, but you look in the driver. Now, we all know across the world is that, you know, the, there's the great resignation. And even uh, looking in our industries, it's no different. Drivers are a scarcer commodity than they were. So you certainly need to ensure that any technology you're putting in there helps the driver. You put it quite well. The, the AI in there is an independent party who's just observing what's happening. Um, what's paramount if you're a driver is safety. And that's what this device does. It's, it, if you're giving the driver feedback, which this camera does, by the way, it's got a beautiful microphone in there, or sorry, speaker in there. And oh, wow, okay. the Sounds so that they're not, uh, you know, they're enough to, uh, to alert the driver without, you know, um, you know, getting on their nerve, frankly. Uh, so something that they they will really listen to, uh, but what you're doing is you're saying, hey, look, you're actually tireder than maybe you think. Um, you're being a little bit more distracted than maybe you're aware of, and so what what does that play out as? It means you've stopped accidents, you've stopped the potential for accidents, and therefore you've stopped accidents before they've even happened. So you're keeping that driver safer. And you're taking out that loop in in which in typically it has to go so badly that you know, in the past, people would have to call in um, or you'd have to have an accident and then your your uh, your supervisor would talk to you. Take all that out and the the issues go away before they become issues. But you're right. making it safer for the driver. And it's a it's a much more it's a much easier 
thing to manage when you're being, you know, getting a gentle reminder. Remember, look at something as simple as seatbelts and you look at the massive uh, improvement in safety since seatbelts came in. And to this day, people buy cars themselves that give them a reminder, hey, your seatbelt's not plugged in. Right. And, yeah, people appreciate that. They don't go, hey, that seatbelt uh, notification is uh, is out to get me, you know. And, right. and dr professional drivers see that. This is their livelihood, after all. Right. No, yeah, and I mean, that is true. I think drivers, uh, you know, get get painted with an unfair brush sometimes. And I think that the the adoption of technology, particularly in the in the driver community, has increased considerably, even since the days of AMT seven or eight years ago when, when those started picking up. And now we've just seen safety devices and cameras go uh, go gangbusters. So one, so one quick clarification there. So I, I like the tiredness example, too. So if, if the camera detects that I'm a little tired, it's yeah. not it's not my it's not my safety manager or my fleet manager's voice coming through and calling me and yelling at me. It's the it's the device just saying, "Hey, you're tired, right?" There's an alert there. And to your point, maybe that just, you know, I'm a driver, I want to do the best job, but yeah, I am tired. And this thing confirmed that I'm tired, so maybe I need to call my dispatcher and just let them know, see what my options are, and play it safe here. Because, you know, you th you're driving, you're tired. We've all had that situation. Where we're like, nah, I can push further. Just another, just another, you know, fifty miles. I'll be fine. But you know, but um, to that point, having having that device alert you and confirm your your feeling on that might help. Just help the driver make the decision, right? That's right. And actually, um, I'll back up the driver as well. I mean, one of our beta customers on. Um, Again, our AI dash cam. Um, <laughs> I love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> the infomercial is uh, uh, what they found was they could see some driver fatigue and they came back and said, you know, they looked at the data. But we just need to rebalance these routes a little bit because it was oh, actually sure. fair on the driver and the drivers aren't going to complain. You know, I mean, um, so so they rebalanced and problem went away. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's a great point. Or even, you know, delivery deadlines. And I mean, it, it helps quantify some of those production mm -hmm. uh, productivity challenges where, yeah, maybe maybe management can make some changes because they got visibility into it. And I think that leads to, I, you know, the last point I just want to point out, and I think you've spoken to it here, is this technology increases, becomes more advanced. The human component is still super important. I love that example on the, on the changing the routes because it, it was – People getting the information, understanding the business and saying, okay, we need to make some changes here for the benefit of our, our workforce as opposed to just picking up the phone and, and hollering at people. So, you know, making sure that people still work with people and just leveraging the cool new technology that's coming out. Yeah, that's right. And that's why, I mean, in our industry, people buy things that help them. They're not buying them just for the sake of because it's new tech. And right. so it's important to understand there's a lot of power underneath there, but what's critical is that how it helps the drivers how it helps the company overall all right very cool let's see that camera one more time i want to see it let's one see this is the first time i've seen it so so let's get a really good look love it love so it here we go the fantastic dash cam from horizon connect <laughs> peter it's always wonderful uh catching up with you i appreciate you taking the time i'm sure i'll talk to you again very soon and always a pleasure to talk to you jason <laughs> take care